Tino and welcome to our sixth tutorial in the CI series. In this video, I will show you how to pass your data from the controller to your views or from your controller to your models. So if you take a look at the login file, you'll notice that I'm echoing a title here then dynamically. I'm, I'm not writing a plain HTML, okay? So, come to your view and then load the base URL, which just redirects you back to your login page, as we did in our routing. So, um, the title here currently displays some uh, other things that are not even understandable, okay? So, I want you guys to go ahead and push some data into this view so that uh, we end up with a, a readable title, okay? So switch back to your control and then create, find the function that loads our login page and then you can create data here, title, title is equal to, uh, let's do a, Run, run Otino templates. Then you have login. You can go ahead and set whatever you feel comfortable with the new project. Okay. So after creating that, we have to pass the data in here to our to our login view, and the way to do that is just to pass it as a second parameter in the parentheses where you're loading your your view file so you will go ahead and do data and it's done so simple so load this and already our uh, titles is set so um another way of handling this is just to to set a singleton instance here in the in the control and then push it to our view so um let me comment this one out and then use the this keyword to create a single turn instance. So this this technically means the uh, the current object. Okay. So this title um, is equal to uh, and set something here. Let me do login. And then what you do is just to pass it right here as a second parameter in your in your parentheses so I'm going to pass it as this and use lower cases for that this and then we have title so uh, come back to your view and then you can echo this then title Okay, login. So nice. Okay, this. So uh, I want I want you guys to stick to uh, whatever the pa pattern you, pattern you com are you comfortable with. Okay, so that is that. Cool, easy peasy. So um, the next thing that I want you guys to learn is to how to pass your data from your controller to your models. And to do this, you just have to uh, pass the data fr uh, to the function in your model. For example, if you open our main model here under the models, we have main model. You can pass the data to a function, some function that's going to handle some database work here. So function x, but you have to push in data here. Your data comes in here. 
and then the body of your function goes here. So for example, from your main controller, you can uh, create a function that processes some uh, some information uh, from your user when your user comes to your application, gets one to interact with their interface, which are your views, and then send you, uh, then send them to your to your to your controller, and then a function here handle some request okay uh, you can type in the say data is equal to some request somewhere from your from your user and then you can you can call your model here right here and pass data to it mm, for example if you want to insert uh, the request from the user you, you have to pass it to your models from this point okay so we can say um, this call your model and then um, can say main model and then the function that so we have x okay this main model and then just call the function here x and then Flash in your data, pass in your data here. So you've passed in your data to your to your uh, to, to your model, okay? And the function here um, can return. You can check if the action indeed completed, and then you uh, you ret you return a true or fail. Uh, a true or, or, or false value depending on uh, the status of the of the of, of whatever the function did so um and say here if okay if a condition is met here return true else I'm going to return false okay so it's that simple that um, if this action is completed uh, whatever we are going to do is just to return true else we will return false Okay, I think that's fairly understandable. So that um, if you're insert, inserting records here, so if records are inserted, return true, else return false. If you're querying a record from your database, if record uh, if records are queried, if the number of rows are, que are uh, greater than one, or just greater than zero that is you can return return some row some row here okay return a row or return the query itself return anything that you want to return return the returnables <laughs> okay else return false because you want your controller to know that uh, the action completed with uh, this kind, uh, kind of status okay so you call your you call your model and then you pass data to your to your model. Alternatively, you can as well check here with if condition to uh, with an if condition. So you can say um, if everything in here returned everything uh, here result to a true. Then you can do something here. Maybe you can. Maybe you can uh, pass data to your view, or um, or do any other other thing in between the the curly brackets. Else you can display some kind of database error or any other thing. So um, that's the way of passing data to your 
to your mother i think with time you guys will get to understand how this works but for you to work with men model as well you must have loaded loaded your model somewhere here either here or as a as an array of models up here and and the moment you'll start loading your models here it means that you must have configured your database so um we'll talk about configuring your database in the next tutorial um and then see if we can start on validating our login which means you're going to introduce a, a security class okay but uh towards the end of this video we'll get to handle more of security uh, security in our application but uh, i'm going to use um bcrypt as our encryption so i already integrated the application with the with a, a b bcrypt class and everything so you guys have to join me in the next tutorial as we try to validate our login creating our user tables and the rest of the things so why don't you subscribe and see you in the next video